For today's video I was thinking of trying out a new product that I got and as you might could tell it is a makeup product. It's the Huda Beauty Pasta Lilac Palette and I got it like two days ago. And the first time I saw it was on an Instagram video of a girl doing her makeup with this palette. When I saw this I instantly fell in love and I knew I needed this palette. I'm very excited to try out these pastel tones, especially because recently I'm in love with this color. I know that this type of color scheme is trending so much recently. These colors give me such a spring vibe and I'm totally down for that recently, so... I will be just doing a quick eyeshadow look on my face with this palette. So as you can see I've already done my foundation and my concealer and what's still missing for the base is the contouring. For that I will be using the shade light kit again with these two colors and this brush. I'm trying to do my contour a little bit lighter than the last few times I've done my makeup because I feel like it looks always very harsh on me especially because I'm very light and this is actually the lightest shade of these kits. But I still don't know how to feel about it and I'm not a pro in contouring so I just try my best to not look like a clown. I will continue with this brush and highlight some areas of my face just as well. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little more so you can see my face a little bit better. Wow. Satisfying. Alright, so I already did the one side of my eye and I will just continue with the next one. So first I will be using the lightest purple shade on the bottom left corridor. And I will just put it all over the lid. Now I'm taking the purple shade in the top left corner. It's a little bit darker than the first one, but a little bit lighter than the darkest one in the palette. And I'm trying to just deepen up the shade and try to give it a little bit more definition. Alright, so let's move on with the darkest shade in the bottom right corner. So we will start in the outer corner and blend it out to the top portion of your eye. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like for some reason there's this one section of my eye that doesn't really take the color as well as the rest of my eye. Am I weird for thinking that? So now I want to do the cut crease and use the more orangey shades of this palette. I want to use the lighter shade on the inner corner and the little darker shade right in the middle of this palette on the middle section of my eye. One thing that I can really say about this palette is I can show you how it looks like right now. I don't know if you can really see it but it's very powdery like there's lots of fallout in the palette. I don't mind it too much because I mean you can just blow it away and it's gone but that's definitely one thing to notice. So for the cut crease I will be just using my Born This Way concealer and a tiny brush like that. When I do my cut crease, I like to not think about it too much and just go for it. I feel like that makes it just a little bit easier to put it on. As you could see in the beginning, I was trying to measure out a little bit where I want it to be because when you have hooded eyes and your eyes are open, you have to check that the cut crease is a little bit bigger than your actual crease so you are able to see it when you open your eyes. But then I just like to start from the inner eye and just quickly make the motion and then the crease is basically already made and you just have to fill it in. So that's what works the easiest for me. Moving on to the lighter shade, I'm talking about these two here. I will use the bottom one first on the inner eye section. And I will just quickly deepen it up again with the darkest purple shade in the palette. So I will now use this white eyeliner and just create a line just above the cut crease that I just created. So why does this side look so effortlessly flawless and this is like her ugly sister? I mean, this was a little harsh. She's not her ugly sister, but like... 
I will just take it back. While doing my makeup right now, I got the weirdest song stuck in my head. That's so crazy. We got three, no, four beautiful glittery shades in here. Please tell me which one I should use on my lid and where. You know, let's just do it like this. I will just continue with my lower lash line first and then we will see and I will think about it again. I will basically mix all three of these colors again and just put them on the outer edge of my under eye. For the inner eye, I will be using this color right here. Oh, I think I will eat ramen later. So, which color should I use? Oh shit, I don't know. Since we here have a mixture of this orange and purple shades, I will just use this magical... Wow, look at this color. I will just use this magical mix of glitter and use it on, you know, the inner section of my eye. I'm a little bit scared because I didn't really like how it turned out the first time. We will see. I did swatches on my arm of all the colors last night and the glitter colors looked so pretty since they were not only shimmering but more like glittery and I really like that. You know there's just a little bit glitter which looks cute. Okay cool 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 that's cute. So I want to put some sparkle actually under my eye as well but again I'm a little terrified but I think I will just use this color right here and put it like in the inner section of my under eye mm, all right so I don't really like the way the glitter shades apply to the eye I can't really tell you why but I feel like it's weird it's not hard to control but it's kind of hard to control so I don't know it's just weird all right so let me quickly do my lashes like mascara and falsies and then I will see you again for blush and highlight okay so now on to false lashes I bought a new pack um, by Allure Allure I don't know. I'm not sure yet if I should use the ones in the middle or the ones on the top. Uh, I think I will just unpack them and see what I like the best. Okay, so I decided for the top lashes and I will just quickly see how far I have to cut them. So two of these little glues came with the lashes and usually I'm using my duo lash glue. But I really would like to try out these tiny glues as well, especially because the application of the glue is quite easy. I will just wait a little bit for the glue to dry down to make it more tacky than liquidy. My trick to apply lashes is I just grab them in the middle, place them in the middle of my eye and then put them down and stick down the edges of the lash. And the most important part, at least to me, is the part on the inner eye because if this one doesn't lay down properly, it just looks trashy. But the major hack to make your ballsies look good is to use your tweezers and please be really really careful with this. You just embrace your false lashes and your real lashes and tweeze them together. But seriously be really careful with this because you can easily hurt yourself. Alright so for blush I will be using this cute rosy color and just put it onto the apples of my cheeks. And for highlight I will be using the highlight from this Tarte palette and a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my nose. Alright for lips I will be just using this color by L'Oreal. And now I will use some setting spray. This is by Essence and it's very good. It's cheap and good that's why I'm basically using it 
only the way it applies to your face is really um, unflattering. It's quite harsh. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it with this look. I think this palette is quite good, to be honest. I was really looking for pastel colors like these, and I think for the price, the palette costs like 30 bucks, 30 euros it was. Um, and I think price-wise, it's quite fair. I think it does a good job. It looks very nice on my eyes, and I really just love these colors. The glitter colors are so cute as well. For me, they really do their purpose and I actually like how they look on my eyes. The only thing that I don't really like about this palette is that there's a lot of fallout within the palette. I mean, it could be worse, but that's a little bit annoying to be honest. But overall, I'm very happy that I got this palette and I think I look cute. So yes, I hope you liked this video and tell me how you like this look down below in the comments. If you liked it, I would be very happy if you subscribe and support my channel. But obviously you don't have to. I just hope you have a nice day and stay hydrated and safe and I will see you next video again. So bye!